What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple customer support AI agent that responds to your clients automatically by creating a simple workflow in any channel. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to capture emails sent to us from our customers or clients via email. So here, I'll search for Gmail, then click on Gmail. Then here we'll need to add our trigger. The trigger is going to be on message received. Here, you'll need to create a new credential to connect your Gmail account to NHN. Then here, click on sign in with Google. Then on the new window that pops up, choose the account that you'd like to connect to NHN. Then after creating your connection, click on save to create your credential. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close it. Here, I'm going to choose my credential, which is this one over here. So the more you can choose to capture emails every minute, every hour, day, week, month, or customize it. And the event is going to be message received. So now here, if I send myself, let's say, this customer support email, which is on the lines of Hilux Automation Team, I've been trying to get the onboarding automation working that we set up last week, but it seems like the client intake form is not getting the next step in the workflow. I've double checked the form settings and everything looks fine on my end. Could someone take a look and let me know what might be going wrong? I would appreciate any help you can provide. Thanks, Sarah. So if I send this email, this is a customer support email. So now if I send this email to myself, and then go back to our workflow and click on Fetch Test Event. You can see here the snippet of our email over here. So now we have received an email. So this is going to be our trigger. So we can pin this email and use it as our example, as our customer support email example, as we, as we continue to set up our, our workflow. So now after we've received an email requiring customer support from a client, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to analyze our email. To analyze the email, I'm going to use an AI agent. So on AI, I'm going to click on AI agent. I renamed this to email analyzer agent. And then click on rename. Here I'm going to define below and add the prompt over here. So the prompt here could be on the lines of you're an AI assistant that analyzes email content to determine if the sender is expressing interest in scheduling a call, meeting, or call consultation. And then here I'll add a system message and then I'll click on expression and expand this over here. And add our system message over here, which is on the lines of your analysis should identify whether or not the sender is requesting a call. If any specific date or time is mentioned, the context or reason for meeting if included, your role is to analyze the email. So Downstream processes can use this analysis to classify the message accordingly. Focus only on determining interest in, the, in a meeting, presence of a scheduling language, any reference date and time, the sender's intent, whether either request, complaint, or inquiry, or whether the message requires customer support assistance. Prepare this information internally for use in the next classification step. And then here we are adding our email. Here you can see we're only getting the snippet of our email. To get the entire email, go back to Gmail. Then we say simplify, just take it off. Then we can click on fetch test and click on unpin and test. And then now here, I'll go back to our email and send ourselves the same email again. And now here you can see now we're getting the entire email that we just sent ourselves over here in a HTML format, text format, and, and text as a HTML format. I'll click on back to converse. You can pin this and use that. And then open our agent here. And then here I'll expand our system message. And now here now you can see we're adding our email that we just received from a potential client who's requesting support so we're dragging the text over here then here i'll click on back to converse over here and give our agent a brain i'm going to choose the open ai chat model over here like we did with other nodes we also need to create a new credential over here then from your open ai add your api key right here then click on save to create a new credential since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close it. And then here I'll choose a model. I'm going to choose GPT 4.0 mini. Then click on back to converse. And now here, I'll open this node and execute the step to analyze the email. You can see our agent ex was ex executed successfully. Analyze our email. You can see here saying that the sender is not explicitly requesting a call or a meeting, but is seeking assistance getting an issue. The sender is expressing a need for help with a technical issue relating to onboarding automation and is requesting support. Yes, the message requires customer support assistance and it pertains a technical issue that the sender needs help resolving. So our agent is analyzing our emails correctly. So here we can add a memory. So I'll use a simple memory. Here I'll choose to define below another key. Here we can uh, drop the idea here. And then click on back to canvas. Over here. We can open the node. Execute the step one time. Our agent executed successfully. The context involves troubleshooting an issue with onboarding automation. The client intake form 
it's not triggering the next step in the workflow so it can see it's analyzing our email so our agent works properly the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to classify our email now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to classify our email so since we are creating a customer support workflow we're either going to categorize our emails if the email requires customer support or it doesn't require customer support so here i'll search for text classifier then click on text classifier node right here here we're going to add the text that we'd like to classify is this output right here which i'll uh, drag it over here and then here we're going to add categories the first category is going to be customer support then you can add the description right here so i'll click on expression and then expand this right here to add the description so here we are telling the text classifier classify the intent of the email based on its content possible intent types one request the sender is asking for something specific for example a call document or a follow-up the second one is a complaint the sender is expressing dissatisfaction or reporting an issue the third one is inquiry where the sender is asking general general questions or seeking information the fourth one is customer support where the sender is asking for help with the product service account or policy and the other and the last one is none where there's no clear intent expressed an email is considered customer support if the sender is asking for help troubleshooting something or inquiring about product service or policies which are only the most appropriate intent label and then here i'll click on back to converse and then you can add one last category now here we can add the category of author and add the description as any email that is not customer support related i'll click on back to converse right here and give our node a model so i'll use the open ai model right here rename it to text classifier ai model then click on rename and then here i'll click on back to converse now to classify our email i'm going to execute our workflow here and then i'll open our node right here you can see our email was classified uh, in the customer support branch over here since our client's intent is to request help in troubleshooting the problem then here I'll click on back to converse so if the email is not classified as customer support yeah we like to do nothing so i'll search for no operations node over here and click on back to converse and then if it's classified as customer support here we'll wait for a few seconds so we can write a personalized email response to them and send it to them via email so here we can wait for a few seconds and then here click on back to converse we can rename this to wait five seconds then click on rename now after waiting a few seconds we can write a response to them so to write a response i'm going to use an ai agent also so here on ai i'm going to click on ai agent i rename this to email response agent and then click on rename here i'll define below here i'll execute previous nodes then here we can add the prompt for this agent the prompt of this agent could be on the lines of you're an AI assistant for life automation, a professional agency that specializes in automating business operations and client workflows. And then here, I'll add a system message. Click on expression. Then expand this to add a system message. And then the system message could be on the lines of when an email is classified as customer support, your task is to automatically generate a helpful and professional response on behalf of Lags Automation or the name of your agency. Your reply should acknowledge the sender's concern or question, express appreciation, for reaching out offer helpful guidance or next steps maintain a warm clear and professional tone and encourage continued communication if needed do not invent information if the email lacks specific details ask for clarification we are adding an example email for example hi name thanks for reaching out to last automation we are happy to help and here we are addressing or acknowledging the support issue briefly and providing guidance or let them know the right person or team will follow up if you could share a few more details to make sure you get the best support possible thanks that's automation team then we are concluding by saying use this email content to deliver the response and give our agent a brain we're going to use open ai chat model we are writing an email response i'll write it email response chat model click on the name For the model i'm going to use gpt 4.0 mini then click on back to canvas i also give it a brain i'm going to click on simple memory brain and here i'm going to define below and add the key over here and drag the id over here i'll rename it to email response memory then click on rename and click on back to converse now we can execute our workflow again to test it you can see that our workflow was executed successfully 
Here we analyze the, our email, we classified it as customer support, and then here with this AI agent. Here you can see that our agent generated for us this personalized response to our client's email. It says, hi there, thank you for reaching out to Lux. We appreciate you bringing up, bringing up the issue. We're facing with onboarding automation, client intake form not triggering the next step in the workflow. We understand the importance of this automation working smoothly for your operation. To assist you further, could you please provide us with access to your account or share more details about the specific configuration of the client intake form. This will help us investigate the issue effectively and provide you with solution with the solution promptly. We look forward to helping you resolve this matter and ensure that your automation process runs smoothly. Thanks. Thanks again, Lags Automation Team. That's an incredible email response to our client's email. That is the intro here. After we've generated the response, we can now see to send them the response. For that, we're going to wait for a few seconds. Here, let's say five seconds. Come back to Canvas. Here, I rename it for let's say three seconds. Rename over here, and then now when I open this node, I can wait for let's say for three seconds. And then click on back to Canvas. Yeah, can execute the step. Then click on back to Converse. Now we can respond to our client via email. So I'll search for Gmail. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to label our message. So here I'll choose my credential. Then here we're going to add a label. The message ID should be this ID right here. Then here we'll find our label. So we'll like to label the email. I like to label it as customer support. Then click on execute step. Now, after labeling our email, we can rename this to label email. We click on rename. And now we can reply to our customer or client. So I'll search for Gmail. Then here, I'm going to reply to a message. So I'll click on reply to a message node. Here I'll choose my credential. Here I'll add on message ID. It will be this ID right here. Email type will be text. And then add our response over here. Our response, we're getting it over here from our email response agent. And here to respond to them, I'll just click on execute step. And now we are sending them the response that we generated using this note over here. So here, I'll rename this to response email. Over here, then click on rename. And I'll save our workflow. Now, here on this node, If the node is not putting exactly a personalized message that we can send to our client, we can tweak the prompt over here, like I did. So I told it, you're a helpful assistant responding on behalf of Lux Automation. A customer submitted a support related email. Your task is to generate personalized professional email that directly addresses the message below. Do not ignore the message content. Your reply must start with hi there. Thank them for reaching out to Lux Automation. Briefly summarize or acknowledge the exact issue. Offer a clear next step. Guidance or request missing details. Keep it warm, human, and professional. And we thanks again the Lux Automation team. And then here we are in the customer's email from Gmail. So here I'm adding the text, dragging the text over here. And then you're telling it now the full reply email based on the message above. And then now here we are generating this response. The that we're sending to our customer via email. After we added a label to the response over here. So now here, we can execute our workflow again and see if this node works properly. Our workflow was executed successfully over here. You can see now we generated for us a personalized response that we're going to send to to our customer, thank you for con contacting Lux Automation. We acknowledge the issue you're experiencing with onboarding, specifically the client intake form not triggering the next step in the workflow. We understand the importance of this automation in your business. To assist you effectively, could you please provide us, provide us with additional details on the specific steps you have taken so far, troubleshooting the form settings. This information will help us identify the root cause and provide you with the, with the resolution pro promptly. We here support you and ensure the automation processes function seamlessly. Thanks again, Lux Automation team. So our workflow is executing properly. And here you can see the email that we sent to our client replying to them. So now we can try testing our workflow from the start. So here I'll unpin this here. And now first of all, try to send an email that is not related 
to customer support so here i'll click on send so i'll send this email right here based on the lens of highlight automation i came across your services through a colleague and i was really impressed by your work around client workflow automation and on a small digital agency we look we are currently looking for partners who can help streamline some of our internal processes would you be open for a quick call next week to explore if this is a fit or collaboration best jordan in our workflow i'll click on execute workflow Now you can see here, when you open this node right here, you can see the email that we sent right here in text. We are asking for a collaboration. So here we analyze the email and the email was classified as other since it's not related to customer support. So here we are proceeding to do nothing. Now let us try to send another email related to customer support. So the email subject line is on the lines of trouble with the workflow trigger. The email is on the lines of highlight automation team. I've been experiencing an issue with one of my one of the automations with Terraform. The email sequence is intriguing when the new lead fills out the type form. I would double check the form setting, but everything seems fine on my end. Could someone help me troubleshoot this? I really appreciate your guidance. Thanks, Amanda. So now here, I'll click on send and view the message. So we can now see the response that our workflow is going to generate for us over here. Now, now workflow, I'll click on execute workflow. You can see that our workflow was executed successfully. Yeah, when I open this node, you can see the message that we send ourselves right here from Amanda, requesting some troubleshooting. We analyze the email using this node over here. You can see the sender is not explicitly requesting a call. The sender is inquiring for help troubleshooting an issue with automation setup. And then now here we're classifying the email as customer support. You can see it's, been, it's in the customer support branch. And then we're waiting for a few seconds and generating a personalized email response for this client. The email response is on the lines of hi there thank you for reaching out to last automation we appreciate you bringing this issue to our attention we're sorry to hear that you're experiencing difficulties with the email sequence not triggering when a new lead fills out the typeform we understand the importance of this automation working smoothly for your business to assist you further could you please provide us with a specific typeform link and any details regarding the automation setup you have in place this will help us better understand the issue and troubleshoot it effectively once we have this information we'll work on resolving the problem promptly for you thanks again Lags automation team, and we're waiting for a few seconds, labeling the email as customer support, and then sending the email response to our client using this response, using this node right here. You can see the email response that we sent to uh, that our client is going to receive over here. And now, from our end, you can see the email was uh, labeled as customer support over here using this simple workflow that we created in any 10. Our workflow works perfectly. Yeah, we are capturing a, cap a client's email inquiry in Gmail. Then we are analyzing the inquiries in this node right here, right here, and figuring out the intent of the email. Then we are classifying the email over here. If the client or customer is inquiring for customer support assistance, and then is inquiring for customer support assistance, we're waiting for a few seconds, and then generating a response using this AI agent over here, where we are sending them this personalized reply to them after we wait a few seconds via email. We're also labeling the email to customer support in Gmail. Our workflow works perfectly. Thank you for watching. Now, if you have an AI agent or a workflow in mind that you'd like for me to create using any 10, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments and if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using any 10. Bye for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.